Do we really think the DOJ is going to do anything about any of these Biden family allegations? I'm not holding my breath. But these federal level crimes, again, are part of the government and media's misdirection. They would love us to zoom in and just look at that picture. Those are the cases they control. They can drag them and sweep it all under the rug. But what happens if you zoom out? The Marco Polo project on Hunter Biden's laptop notes over 170 crimes, 170 crimes, clearly documented. We know the place and the date and everything. And they're spread out all over the country in states that perhaps you're living in right now. So let me go over some of these crimes. This is the list and the states where some of these crimes happen. It is staggering. I haven't heard of nearly any of these. If, if the president's son is implicated in 170 crimes, why hasn't justice been done? I mean, it seems kind of relevant to the public, doesn't it? What the heck's going on here? Really? 170? I'm going to go through some of these, but you should follow along in our dossier. So let's go over the crimes state by state. I'm going to start in Arizona. By the way, this is a crack pipe. On October 27th, 2016, Hunter Biden, under the influence of crack, crashed his car on the way to rehab, then dropped off his second car at the rental facility near the airport. He uh, accidentally left several items in the vehicle, including personal IDs, a crack pipe, and a baggie with cocaine. Now get this. Before the lab test even came in, proving that it was cocaine, both the city and county attorney said, we're not going to prosecute. Why? Would your family, would your family member ever get the same courtesy? Would you want the same courtesy? Hunter would later admit that, well, I had to write it in my book. It's chapter eight, my book, Beautiful Things. So we have an official record, we have proof, and a confession. What we don't have is justice. Ha! So what's up, Arizona? Is there anybody in Arizona that might be willing to say, you know, I'd like to take that crime on? If you live in Con Connecticut, it's going to get very busy in Connecticut. So many crimes here. I'm starting to wonder if there is actually a functioning justice system at all in Connecticut. I'll start with the drug crimes. February 20, uh, 2019, a female who is herself currently in jail for other crimes arranged a meeting with Hunter to bring him crack cocaine. Well, that's fantastic. Who doesn't like a little crack cocaine? Later in February 2019, texts show that Hunter was conversing with his drug dealer, showing he was uh, consuming drugs and trafficking them as well. Hunter was pissed off that he was sold some drugs that were low quality. <laughs> Who hasn't been there? Hunter's laptop clearly shows money transfers of over $1,400 and $1,500. March 2019, Hunter texts uh, show that he ordered $400 worth of crack. I mean, at least the guy is good at keeping records. On that same day, Hunter's texts show him offering drugs to a female, then setting up sex and a drug romp with another woman. Have you heard of any of these? I mean, have you heard about the Connecticut sex crimes? Because of sex crimes, wow. February 2019. Hunter solicits a woman for sex. Later the same night, after the woman leaves his room, Hunter solicits two more prostitutes through an online escort service. The energy he has is actually quite impressive. The very next day, Hunter solicits a third prostitute. This particular lady of the evening instructs Hunter how to weed out the police. Later that day, Hunter solicits another prostitute at a casino, and then another one an hour later. Sky is remarkable. Then another who agrees to meet him at the Best Western Hotel. I mean, how comes to mind. Uh, February 13th, soliciting. 
February 14th, Hunter takes a video of him having sex with a prostitute and smoking crack. Money transfers show he paid the woman $1,500. February 17th, soliciting. Uber rec uh, records show Hunter paid for their rides to come and meet him. Also later on the 17th, soliciting again. Uber records and a link to a Visa debit card to pay the prostitutes are described on the laptop. February 26th, guess. Yeah, soliciting. This is just Connecticut. Is there anyone in Connecticut that would like to maybe prosecute for a crime? Moving on to Delaware. Whew, Delaware, we could be here all night. June 2018, Hallie uh, Biden pressures uh, Hunter to procure crack cocaine for her. Oh, just like they're in business together. Well, they're sleeping together and doing crack cocaine. What a beautiful family. This was all caught on recorded phone calls. Uh, 2018, October, Hunter does a drug deal that ends at a 7-Eleven convenience store. Later in October, Hunter texts Hallie Biden that he's currently, quote, smoking crack on 4th and Rodney. That's great. December 2018, video evidence of Hunter naked smoking crack at a public spa. Later in December, a text message admitting to an unfair drug deal. March 2019, Hunter buys drugs from a registered sex offender. October 12th, 2018, Hunter buys a gun. Uh, it was... It, it, well, he shouldn't have because, well, he had to lie a little bit on the application about his drug use. OK, October 23rd, 2018, Hallie throws Hunter's gun in the trash can at a grocery store. We need more gun laws. No arrests were made. And what's this? What's you know, this list is not good for anything unless you had a few sex crimes in here. December 2018, photo evidence of a night with a prostitute and crack cocaine. January 2019, video evidence of prostitutes and crack cocaine. February, more video evidence of the same prostitute and the same drugs. Well, I mean, new drugs because he had already smoked the other. If you live in Delaware, you've got your work cut out for you. I know. Uh, probably not going to happen in Delaware. But how about Florida? Wow, Florida is an interesting case here. Because Florida, you'd think there'd be somebody that was a prosecutor. They're like, you know what? I think we should prosecute for the 2016 March. Photos show Joe Biden's son-in-law, medical doctor, uh, Howard Crean, smoking a joint violation of medical license regulations. December 2018. By the way, you might think that that's little, a little thing. Do you think if you were a doctor and you did this and it was on tape and they found out that they wouldn't come after you? December 2018. Hunter Biden sends money to a Ukrainian escort and pimp. The transfer was flagged by J.P. Morgan as possible human trafficking. By the way, um, these flags that the banks do, th this is when they think there's money laundering or a crime being committed. Um, they only issued 170 of these that we know of. 170 times the banks sent out an alert saying, we think something's wrong here. A hundred and 70 times. Let's go to Massachusetts. November 2018, Hunter attempts to buy more crack. December 2018, Hunter sets up a drug deal and exchanges $1,200 for, I'm sure, a Beanie Baby collection. January 2019, another drug deal with a payment via PayPal. February 2019, video evidence of Hunter smoking crack at the Marriott Hotel and sex crimes. December 2018, video evidence and text messages prove Hunter solicited two prostitutes and did drugs with them at his uh, property owned by his psychiatrist. By the way, where's hashtag me too? Also in December, Hunter solicits another prostitute. She requests $1,000 as payment through Venmo. 
January 2019, Hunter solicits another prostitute. You know, he could hide all of these if he would use Bitcoin, because I hear the president says that's where the real crime happens. Video evidence was found on her OnlyFans account. You now have February 2019. Hunter attempts to solicit a prostitute, but doesn't get a response. <sighs> Nevada. August 2018, Hunter conducts a drug deal and pays the dealer $250. Also, August 2018, Hunter solicits a prostitute. August 7th, Hunter solicits another prostitute. Tennessee, October 2016, according to his own admission written about in his memoir, Hunter Biden purchases crack cocaine in Nashville and drives under the influence. In Texas, December 2018, Hunter solicited a Texas woman for sex and paid her flight to the East Coast. She requested $1,000 in payment. In Virginia, June 8, uh, 2018, Hunter takes pictures of himself driving around in Arlington, Virginia, smoking crack. Now, I don't know about you, but where I come from, that's against the law. Now, these are the crimes that we, we know about and have clear-cut evidence, like open and shut case here. I don't know how many more there are, but let me ask you, out of all of these, nobody, nobody prosecutes this. There's not one prosecutor out anywhere in the country that saw that crime come through and went, yeah, I, I don't care who he is. It's weird. They see the Biden name and immediately stop pursuing the case. We actually left off the crimes in places like New York and California because the institutional rot is so bad in those states. There's no way anything will ever be done. Do you think Alvin Bragg would prosecute Hunter Biden in Manhattan? Would Gavin Newsom allow anything like that to be done in California? Some of these states are just lost. But we can push action on every single one of these crimes on the chalkboard.